Nashville. Massive flooding has left at least a dozen people dead. Thousands of people have been evacuated after an astonishing 13 inches of rain fell over a two-day period. Relentless downpours have turned sleepy creeks into raging floodwaters. This has been the worst flooding in the last 100 years, and forecasters say it's not over yet. The greatest non-hurricane flood disaster in American history hit middle and western Tennessee like a slow-rising tidal wave in the spring of 2010. The rain began on May 1st, and just 36 hours later, between 12 and 20 inches fell from the sky in one of the epic extreme weather events in this country's history. Much of Clarksville, Tennessee was under four to five feet of water. In disasters of this magnitude, services like power, water, and health are put to the ultimate test. More than a foot fell on some areas yesterday, turning creeks into rivers and rivers into raging floodwaters. In times like these, communities turn to government and public safety organizations like police and fire rescue for help. But where do whole cities and industries go when facing a catastrophic shutdown? Many turn to Shermco Industries and its electrical disaster recovery specialists, a worldwide leader in safe electrical restoration, testing, repair, maintenance, and analysis for electrical rotating equipment and power distribution systems for the light, medium, heavy industrial, and power generation industries across the United States. Shermco wants to be on the boat. What does that mean? We want to be here on the initial planning stages of the disaster recovery. When we came to this facility, we came out one evening and the water was still this high. Look how high it is right here. This is, look at the, the truck was underwater. We walked through the, through the doors out here with our flashlights and shined them around. Uh, we were kind of surprised because the lights were on just kind of like they are today. Uh, we immediately realized the power company didn't kill the power and the equipment was actually underwater and it was on. So we didn't know what we were going to find. Within hours of the floodwaters receding in Nashville, Shermco disaster relief specialists were on site, implementing their six-step disaster recovery plan, doing such things as assessing the damage, developing a safety plan, and documenting each piece of damaged equipment. When we first walked the facility, the customers are totally overwhelmed. They see all their equipment that they operate every day. It's full of water, it's full of mud, it's full of debris. And in their minds, they're just, you know, how is this ever gonna come back to life? What we see is equipment that's damaged, that's uh, recoverable. Uh, we can do this. We've done it before and we can do it again. After this steel manufacturing facility was flooded and went dark, but well ahead of early projections for total downtime, Shermco's disaster recovery team had the facility back up and running at near capacity. This Clarksville, Tennessee wastewater treatment plant was shut down by the floods, but restoring services must wait until the facility is safe. How's the uh, transformer dehydration going? Well, good. Getting the moisture down? Yes, sir. Good deal. One of the uh, most critical things when we show up on site is to look at your hazards. We never know what hazards we're going to be dealing with. Sometimes it's environmental, sometimes it's uh, electrical. We have to survey the scene, get it safe for our people just to even be here. We knew we were in trouble whenever we arrived here at the wastewater treatment plant. This admin building actually had so much water rise so fast that it lifted the roof right off. You can see where the damage is. The uh, roof was lifted right off of the uh, top of the brick line. When we come up to a flood, typically you'll have a lot of damage. And usually it's the switch gear, the breakers, MCCs, things like that. Never the cable do we expect to have this kind of damage. We think there's moisture in these cables, so we're going to push nitrogen through these conductors and try to get moisture out. We assume there's moisture, but we don't know how much. Situations like this are more common than you'd think after natural disasters. But our disaster relief specialists also contend with man-made electrical shutdown emergencies. Bucket by bucket, crews are cleaning out the muddy mess in the Dallas County Records Building. A broken water main flooded the building's basement with six feet of water. Even worse, the 
water-soaked vital computer equipment that helps run the county business. Shermco Industries is a proven leader in turning miles of cable into safe and operationally restored power. Our fleet of mobile service vehicles, complete with state-of-the-art electrical testing and support equipment, is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and staffed by highly trained NEDA certified field engineers and technicians to provide safe, efficient, and reliable service whenever you call. Shermco Industries Electrical Disaster Recovery Services. One line, one company to get you up and running.